Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by the company you depend upon for all of your greatest needs, Heart Life. These stories are true dramatizations from our fair city's glorious history. So listen and remember, Heart Life, all the life you'll ever need. Sometimes, in the hustle and bustle and flying viscera, it is easy to lose sight of the little people. The humble everyman who goes on about the business of heart life in the face of whatever malevolent and extraordinary personalities happen to be trying to take over the city today. What becomes of such a man when disaster strikes? Ow! Are you alright? Yeah, I just bumped my head. Um... Play? Yes, Sandy? You're on top of me. Yeah. Get off! Uh, I sort of can't move. You're kidding. No. I'm not. Just stand up. I don't. Move your legs up to here. It's just that... And then shift your weight in. Oh. Yeah. So you're... Holding up the ceiling? Kind of. Can you do any digging? You've got my arms pinned. Oh, sorry. Maybe if I... Maybe we should just wait. Yeah. In silence, because I'm still not talking to you. Well, you were, right? Right? But you aren't now. Well, we'll just wait then. Yeah. In silence, because talking uses up oxygen, and we don't want to use up oxygen now, do we? Nope. Not at all. Don't suffocate. Good plan. Maybe we should do something to let them know we're here. Like what? How should I know? I haven't. I mean... Oh. This is your first time, isn't it? This is your first tunnel collapse. No. Well, maybe. Uh, kind of. I knew it! It's my first time on this side of the dirt, but I have seen some tunnel collapses. Loads of them. Tons of them. This one time, I was so close, I could hear it collapsing. Almost. Wow. Well, excuse me for not buying into the whole, you're not a real mole unless you've been in a tunnel collapse. I can't believe this is your first. Oh, yeah? Well, what was your first? Last week? Try a year ago. Oh, wow. Really? I wouldn't have taken you for that kind of mole. And what kind of mole is that? You know, the kind that... Reckless and... You're talking to me and I will not screw that up. <laughs> so a year ago, huh? Yep. Trapped for an hour and a half in a cave with... Pete, right? It was Pete. No. Oh. Oh, well, good. Not that I haven't been in a tunnel collapse with Pete. That's okay. I really don't have to know. We didn't come up for air for days. Anyway. Anyway, no. My first tunnel collapse was with Roxy. Roxy? But she's a... Oh. Oh. It wasn't serious. Nothing official. She and I were just experimenting, you know? Two young females exploring the boundaries of their own tunnels. We weren't paying close attention to our struts. One thing led to another, and before we knew it... Um... Clay? Uh... You're drooling. Oh, uh, sorry. I just... Ah! Ow! This is so your first tunnel collapse. We should conserve our air now. I bet you only know what they taught you in tunnel safety class. You're not talking to me, remember? I miss laughing at you, Clay. You're all cute when you're frustrated. I think the lack of oxygen is starting to get to me. Um, Sandy? Yes, Clay? I was wondering. Yes? Do you need to rescue in? What? I didn't say that. Over here! Blow me? What? What are you doing here? doing my part as a member of the Mole Underground Retrieval and Deadly Encounter Rescue Service. You two all right? How did M-U-R-D-E-R-S find us so fast? Oh, we just happened to be in the neighborhood. Saw the collapse. Came to help. Are you ready? 
Or do you still need a minute or two? No, no, we're good. We can get out now. All right. Up you come, Clay. Oh. Now, Sandy. Oh, oh Sandy, you, you look a bit uh, dizzy, confused, uh, oxygen deprivation, most like. Maybe a concussion. You should go see Pete over there at the medical station. What's Pete doing over there? Oh, he's a vet now. First mole to pass his exams. It's a proud day. So I'll just... You go and... We can... Yeah, later. Okay, well... Well... You know, you really weren't that far down. Probably could have just stood up. You don't say. Though, I can see why you wouldn't. Nothing like being trapped together in a life-threatening situation to get her alone. The perfect opportunity to tell her how you feel. I mean, why would you go to all the trouble of getting buried alive together if you weren't going to make your move? If you didn't, I'd begin to wonder if you really liked me or if I just imagined it. Maybe start to move on. Find solace in the closest available mole to show an interest. And never give you a second thought as anything. Well, except as a friend, of course. I gotta go. Alright then. All in a day's work for the Mole Underground Retrieval and Dire Event Rescue Service. Let us not forget, dear listener, that these moles have emotions much like our own albeit twisted, degenerate versions of those emotions. Clay is just as fearful of losing his potential mate as you would be. Clay can taste the bottoms of his own feet just as surely as would you, having done as he just has. Which is to say, he's dropped the ball, as do we all. Will he be able to recover his mistake? Will Sandy choose Pete? Find out as the story of Our Fair City continues. Next time we return to Dr. West and Andrew Snidge in their lab with Really Doing Science.